All right, so the clips that are still on my computer, I'm on my computer. The clips that are still on my camera, um, I have all written down right here. So I'm gonna go through that and do hopefully get through this and then explain the rest of what's been going on in my life with my health wise because it's absolutely fucking annoying, but you know. So there's some clips of Adrian fishing which is most likely going to be made into a time lapse because I had my camera going for like three hours that day. So I just really wanted to get a nice video of the sun, which wasn't even out. A nice video of, you know, the sunset going down, which didn't even happen because the sun wasn't out. And then the fact that we left at like four o'clock in the afternoon. No, we left at like six o'clock at night. And pretty sure we got there around like one or two o'clock that day because of how annoying everything was at Cop Concert. I think I have all that timing right. Hope I do. But he caught his first, Adrian caught his first two catfish that he's ever caught. It was pretty cool because it was on the Connecticut River because, you know, it's one thing I've known my whole entire life is the Connecticut River. So it's cool to see. Well, also for the fact that everybody probably gets catfish all the time when they're fishing off of there and catching so much more other stuff. Anyways, it's cool to see your significant other catch <laughs> catch something like that too. And it was honestly a really long day, but um, a couple days later we went out with one of his friends fishing and that was like 7 o'clock in the morning. We had to get up at like 5.30 in the morning and it was just a whole other thing, but that will be coming up in the next few clips or whatever.
Heck yeah. Nice little catfish. You know, this is really my first catfish I've ever caught. Well, it looks like I was good luck for you at this point.
I'm pretty sure this was the next day. I had, uh, I have some clips of going through, um, I think it was like an Enfamil box that I got for formula, um, a Walmart, no it wasn't Walmart, it was something that I got for my OBG, and so I, you know, opened both of those boxes at the same time and put like all the stuff away. Um, obviously they give you a due date but you're not too sure when it's fully going to happen, so, uh, there's a couple of, there's somebody walking down the road, good for you, I wouldn't be able to do that right now, anyways, there was, uh, some things of formula, like, circular ones, in containers, that was nice show. certain ones in, like, the little circular containers that, um, possibly have, you know, some expiration dates on them and shit, so I decided to keep everything that doesn't say that it's expiring by September of this year, because, you know, I mean, I think, actually, I think it's September 1st, so if she comes after that, then y'all have to throw it away, because that's disgusting, and I'm not doing that, but, um, if so, and if she comes before that, I'll ask them if I can use it, I mean, it was free anyways, and I have, like, a whole bunch of, they're, like, coupon thingies or something like that, but they look like checks right now. And I got some of those things for like five dollars, ten dollars off, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I had to go through and empty all the baby boxes, all the uh, just regular like cardboard boxes of stuff for babies that was in there. I had to go through all that stuff. This was me um, folding clothes in the corner that had been on the floor for weeks. And I folded all those and put them in the corner because I don't know if they fit or not, so I wanted to like put them over in the corner. And then, I think it was like a few days ago, I was like, you know what, screw this, and went through all those clothes and like put everything that I knew wasn't going to fit me into the box anyways, I'm pretty sure. but. This clip is from me piling them all on top of each other into the corner. And I think when I was vlogging the the clips where I have blue shirts on, or blue shirt on, the Waikiki, Hawaii, Hawaii, whatever, however you pronounce it, whatever you say, uh, those, the vlog of the week clips, those were on the couch, and Aurora was right next to Edge, she's right next to Edge, she passed, the fuck out, okay, but yeah, um, I recorded a little bit of her because honestly I thought that she was being very cute, sitting in the corner and minding her own business like she normally does. Like, yeah, she's such a sweet girl.
if I'm correct with my timing, I'm pretty sure these next few clips are the next day. Um, this was actually before I got recently sick again, when I was sick a few weeks ago for a few days. It was on Memorial Day. Memorial Day? Whatever it is. Yeah, I think it was Memorial Day. Um, yeah. So, I woke up, like, three days in a row just feeling blah. Not, like, pukey blah, but, like, just blah. I didn't know what to do, so I just ended up, I don't know if it was, like, heat stroke or whatever it was, I don't know. I ended up going with Adrian to the pier, and we sat there, actually, was it? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was one of those Mondays or Tuesdays off. Mondays or Tuesdays? Tuesdays or Thursdays, because... We decided to go with our friends Boomer and Vienna to um, Old Silver Mini Golf a few weeks ago, and it was really fun. And uh, Vienna wants to go to the Dino one that's up in, I think it's up in Waterford in Connecticut, but it might be in Uncasville. I don't know. They're all close together up there. Anyways, so we went there, or we were trying to go there, and. So we went down to the pier to fish for a little bit during that day, and then I said to Adrian around like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I was like, we should probably go somewhere that has, you know, a little bit of service, because then at least I'll be able to get a message from Boomer, and he can, you know, tell us where to meet, what time, all that other stuff that was going on. Apparently he got out of work at 4 that day, so we were going to plan to uh, go up to the dino place for the golf, around like 5.30 because they closed at 7 on weekend I think it was. But then... <laughs> but then... Yay, sideways again. Oh, and I keep moving the car, so of course that doesn't help. We are going fishing again today. Um, I'm in a massive mood. I woke up not feeling well, and then we had breakfast, and then after that, I just got into a massive mood. I think it's pregnancy hormones or something, but I don't know. So we're at Cumbies right now. I have, I don't think I ever did a haul in the recent Walmart trips that we did or the Dollar Tree trip that I did, but I got this cup and it was two of the same ones in one for $1.25, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And Adrian's inside of Cumbies right now getting a water, another apple juice, we have toilet paper in the back seat in case, you know, somebody got a, well, mainly me recently because my bladder is shit. Um, and then he's getting, I think, a bag of sour cream and onion chips for me. Water, apple juice, sour cream and onion chips. I'm not sure what else. Um, I, I edited a lot this morning, and I've been doing pretty well with that, but just somehow, somewhere, I just ended up in a freaking mood, and, like, I can't even stand myself right now, okay? <laughs> so, like, I can guarantee... Adrian feels <laughs> um, we're also oh I got something in my eye we're also going it's 135 right now we're going fishing I don't know where the hell he wants to go fishing but we'll figure it out um, at 530 we're meeting up with our friends Boomer and Vienna and we're going to I think it's an Uncas no? the uh, Dino Park or the Dino uh, Golf because we went golfing with them at Saber Point the other day and Vienna really wants to go to the Dino Golf. And we were standing in the parking lot at the end of the night talking to each other. And there was this guy that was behind the car listening to our conversation. And he's like, once you go to the, the Dino Park, you'll never want to come back here. And Vienna's like, I know, right? That's why I want to go. So apparently Boomer is busy on Thursdays. So we're going to go today. I feel very bloated with everything right now. I feel like every time that like I intake more food and like drink or whatever, I just get more bloated right now, but it's okay. It's fine, it's whatever. I think I'm 26 weeks today. Yeah, 26 weeks today. So, getting to that point where these hormones are gonna be kicking my ass for a while, but it's worth it. I really don't like the fact that this, this thing being sideways looks like this boob is bigger than the other. <laughs> oh my god, I'm also so tired and we slept in for like an hour and a half this morning. I guess it's just fatigue and I feel like I'm going to have to pee like 70 times today because I've actually been taking in so much liquids, but obviously that's good, taking in that much liquid, so. It's already nastily hot. Well, not that bad. It's like... You can feel the slight heat through the window, 
so that's not that bad. I just don't want it to get any worse. And right now it's 64. It says the highest is supposed to be 65 and the lowest is supposed to be 47 tonight, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Oh, he back with food. So this is a sweatshirt that Adrian found in the Saturn that I left in there last summer, I guess. Because I hadn't seen it in a while and I looked at old pictures and I was like, uh, yeah, where'd that sweatshirt go? Anyways, um, we went to the pier at first. There was somebody down at the ending of it, so we went to the first spot and we were there for like an hour. And then I asked Adrian if we could go somewhere with, uh, signal because you don't have any service down the pier. Um, and then... Boomer sends me a message and says, oh yeah, the Diano Golf Place is only open on weekends. And Adrian works until 6 on Saturdays and 5 on Sundays, so hopefully we'll be able to plan that out for like a Sunday sooner or later. Because I know Vienna really wants to go. But, um, yeah, just sitting here at a place down the road from where my dad used to live. And just watching Adrian fish here and such. It's a really decent day, but very chilly now. I'm pretty sure that I have a video clip before this explaining it, but um, I'm pretty sure Boomer ended up Googling it and it said that 
they were only open on weekends. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to be particularly exact, okay? So, uh, in the next few weeks we're gonna try, which I think Boomer's in Mexico right now because it showed it on his Snapchat and he sent me some pictures and such and it was like a beautiful sunset off on very nice boats and stuff out in yonder because I have Mexico, I think. I think I said, yeah. Around there. So yeah, uh, I think he's down there and he's having a good old time. I don't know if Vienna is there. But I do know that she has to like go to college and stuff, I think, I'm pretty sure. So maybe she didn't go or maybe she has like a big oh well, everybody's getting off on vacation right now. Or off for vacation right now, aren't they? I don't know. So either way. Um, we didn't end up going that day, but we definitely do want to go when there's a chance that, you know, Adrian, Vienna, and Boomer are all off of work at the same time, and we can go and we can have some fun. Um, I'm really down for it. I also am down for, um, I think it's glowing, glowing type mini golf? The blue light type mini golf, I think? I mean, glow in the dark to me is turning the lights off and having something glow in the dark, but I guess that's the same thing. So, hopefully in the next few weeks we can make those plans and we can have some fun while I'm still able to move around and do that stuff right now even though I can barely move around right now as it is. Oh, and I forgot to mention in that last clip and such, we ended up going from the pier down to, I think it's called Chapman Hill Pond or something like that, or Chapman Mill Pond or something like that. It's across the street from where my father used to live for the nine years he was with my stepmother because uh, Callie, my stepsister, and I grew up going across to that lake sometimes. Um, it'd be Tick Central when you walked out. So uh, after like three or four times of going down there and finding ticks all over us, that's when my stepmother back then was like, probably shouldn't go there anymore, you know? Really not a good idea. And we're like, yeah, that's a really good idea to not go there anymore. And so <laughs> we're getting down to the ending of the list, guys. Like, we're at like, right here. We're almost down. Anyways, before I smudge my finger into the web because that's disgusting. It gives me OCD. Um, so the last two clips, or last two clips, two clips, the next two clips I have in here of, of us going to meet Adrian's friend at a fishing spot on the, off the Connecticut River to go and they were fishing for catfish or something like that, but they had an extra friend and apparently small world, but apparently I knew that person that Adrian's friend brought and uh, he used to stay on his bus years ago. So, uh, small world, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, they didn't want to be on camera or anything like that, so I just respected the whole entire thing and I didn't even film like anything at all that day after Adrian said, oh yeah, just, you know, no camera or anything like that, like no social media, don't tag him in any social media. And I was like, oh, okay. My dashboard is not straight, I'm with a sideways fucking angle. It is early, we are going fishing with a friend. Is his Friends. hatch supposed to be open like yes. that? Yes, he has fishing pole sticking out of it. Okay, just making sure. We got our Starbucks. We're grabbing another friend and then heading out for the day. So yeah. Should be a decent day. Our Taco Bell from last night already went through us both. Mine at five o'clock this morning, his now, and it's 7.09. Yeah, it's okay. So, worth it. Leaving Monroe's now, let's not get copywritten because of music. So, we got Duncan, and we have our coffees because just need it for the morning. And Adrian uh, had to go in and get another bag of ice and some more apple juices because his friend has um, some Gatorades, some waters. They have alcohol and all that stuff, which that's their deal. Um, but... Yeah, then we're going to be heading out to a fish fishing spot. I have no clue where we're going, but it's going to be down on the Connecticut River, so honestly, I'm pretty excited for this. Um, it's supposed to be almost an all-day ordeal, and it's 7.20 right now, so I guess we'll just see how long this goes. Um, the last time, previously in clips, you'll see this probably, like, the last vlog or whatever. Adrian caught his first two catfishes down at the pier at the Haddam Shad Shack, or Spencer Shad Shack, whatever you want to call it. And... I'm pretty sure we're going back to the Connecticut River. It's gonna be a decent day. We're gonna have some fun. And his, he went to go and pick up his friend, which was, was right down the road from Adrian's work <clears throat> Anyways, so, yeah, got some apple juice in this. 
These cups are pretty good because it keeps telling you when it's still cold and when it's not. Um, but yeah, that's going on for right now. So we're prepared to have some fun. There is a huge ass hair on my dashboard and it's disgusting. So about three or four days before we went to go hang out with Adrian's friend for a little bit, um, I was massively sick again for like three or four days and then I had gone to the hospital one day and they just gave me a whole bunch of IV fluids and then they told me to leave. Um, I was still feeling bad the next day and I went to the OB and they said uh, try and take, what are they called? Oh call suppository. They said go ahead and just take a suppository and I was like just thinking to myself I was like I have stomach muscle pain. How is taking a suppository going to help with the fact of stomach muscle pain because they wanted me to be able to eat. I was like I can't right now. I can't even take in liquids right now with nothing. It was a pain in the ass. Um, got sick the day beforehand and felt better, then went out fishing with them the next day, and then woke up the day after that and was sick again, but I think it was due to the fact of um, having Cumbie's hot dogs, because the, the pizza, the cheese pizza is pretty decent. Apparently the hot dogs are like not real meat or something like that, and yeah, I didn't feel too well the next morning. The next few, there's a bird outside, he's being really annoying. Oh wow. Anyways, so the next few clips was of me dealing with the days and just getting through everything the most that I possibly could. Um, a few clips of me editing, a, f a clip or so of me doing laundry I think, or putting something away. Um, and then there's a couple more of me editing and then one of me showing that I am absolutely freaking tired and I was just done with doing everything and I just didn't want to do anything else that day because I was just so tired. So then I started to feel a little bit better because I had either taken a shower that day or the night before, I don't even know which one it was, it was one of the days that I was feeling like a little bit better. I got up and I took a shower and my hair was obviously still, I think it was, yeah I think my hair was still wet from that day. I might have taken a shower the night before but I think it was from that day. And I attempted to do a braid in, on both sides of my hair because I've been able to do a French braid for a very long time. If you can do a fishtail braid, I can do a French braid. Um, I can probably try to do a fishtail braid too, but I probably can't do it on myself because it, it's kind of hard to do. And then um, <laughs> I failed at it and I got mad, so I ended up putting my hair back into a bun, which is the state that it's been in lately. My hair is like down to like here, and maybe like next video or next clip or something I'll show it, but my hair is like down to like my boob and like it's long.
All right, so uh, we're getting to the last few clips here. Um, when my mother leaves to go to work again for a little bit this afternoon, I will sit down and like talk about everything that's been going on and how I feel and like just all of the extra crap that's been going on. But um, I'm gonna end everything with these next few clips and you know then talk about as I said what's been going on. So after I attempted the hair braid and failed, um, I had lunch that day. I had a tuna fish sandwich, which I was having honestly a lot this week to be quite honest, but they're really good and they can be decently healthy for you as long as you're not having like 17,000 a day. So uh, tuna sandwich, um, I ended up editing more and then I think the two last times that Adrian and I have gone fishing, I have sat in the Explorer or the Jetta or whatever because, well, other than going to Gillette's Castle, which I haven't really brought out my camera much when it goes down to us going there, which I could and I should, but we always have to walk, like, seven bags over to the area and, like, put out a towel and sit down. It's just sometimes a pain in the ass. But, um, yeah, the last couple times that we've gone other places, I just sit in the Explorer and I had my tripod up in the driver's seat, and I was just taking a video of Adrian, and then that's where that horrible camera angle came from. And then the last couple was of us in the Jetta, I think it was last night or the day before. So basically that is catching up on almost actually every single clip that I have on my camera right now besides the little project that I'm working on, which I'm still trying to do, but it's absolutely going to take forever because the resources that I have for it are just so slim sometimes. But, um, yeah, that's everything for the past, like, couple weeks before Mother's Day. And we are going to end this whole entire thing here, and then I'll be back in a little bit to explain everything that's been going on and why it's been going on and just everything with the sun. Alright, so since we are past all the like vlog clips and everything that I've taken my camera out for this week, let's talk about some of the stuff that I haven't taken my camera out for. Um, one of the main things was, um, <laughs> I got a thing in the mail from jury duty, like, in the first trimester, and apparently there was nobody that day when I was supposed to do it, and so everything was cancelled. And then, I was supposed to go on June 7th, but my mother called in because the whole website's down. My mother called in, and they said everything was cancelled for the week, which how would I have known that? Probably would have had to drive up there and, you know, spend all that time for no reason whatsoever. So, that was supposed to happen but didn't happen, which is kind of got on my end. Plus, it's not even, like, my anxiety. I just don't want to have to sit there with a whole entire group of people and choose whether somebody's guilty of something or not. Like, I've watched a lot of shows about, like, you know, like, criminal minds and, like, just stuff like that. And I'm just never smart enough to guess who the person actually doing all the crazy shit is. 
So, like, I, I read people as if they're, you know, the nicest people on earth, no matter who they are. So, I'm kind of glad I didn't have to go and make that decision. But apparently, I'm going to probably have to go next year. Woohoo. And we will move on to my health for a second. Um, other than the fact of being sick two, three weeks ago, whenever the last time I was sick was, um, they told me, my OBGYN told me, that if I couldn't do the glucose test, and I was going to have to sit there, and I was going to have to prick my finger for like a week, and uh, make sure that I don't have gestational diabetes. Um, my insurance, well, it wasn't really anything to do with my insurance. Basically, the people that, the doctors that were supposed to press the button, apparently one of the doctors did not press that button, one of the last times that I was in there for a doctor's appointment. And, um, so I went two weeks thinking that, oh yeah, all this stuff is ordered, which I did get a text message at one point. I did get a text message from my pharmacy saying that it was going to be ready, like it was on order, whatever. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> Nobody sent over any prescriptions whatsoever. So, I had to go to Walgreens with Adrian the other day because we went to... First of all, he, uh, we caught a fish that we were going to keep in, uh, fry or whatever, whatever the hell it is, and, uh, which he did, and apparently to him it was good. I had had enough mercury this past few weeks, so I, or this past week, few days, so, um, I could not try the fish, sadly, but, uh, he had it, and that night we ended up going, because we also wanted to get uh, artichokes as well, because that's, like, one of our, like, main things right now, um, we hadn't had them in a while, so I was like, okay, you know what, because obviously I was getting yelled at by my doctors, or the nurses that were up there, if, if you don't start pricking your finger, and it was like a few days beforehand when they had said this to me, if you don't start pricking your finger today, then they're not going to be able to do it, and you're going to have to do the glucose test, which I was told can happen between like 27 and 32 weeks, which I'm not too sure how, how like 100% on point that is, but that's what one of the doctors told me at one point, so um... I also got my tetanus shot, my left arm wasn't too bad, but it's supposed to help, um, baby girl not get, uh, whooping cough or whatever it is, or to help stop from getting, them from getting whooping cough, or whatever it is, but, um, so yeah, all this stuff was going on, and I was literally, I ended up going online and looking at walgreens.com or at least CVS or something to be able to see if they had any type of, because I know what they ordered for me through my insurance or whatever it was, was different than what I bought. But at the same time, because of the fact that I kept on getting yelled at by nurses, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. And I went and paid 50 something dollars for the meter and the thing in a prick finger and everything else. I've been doing my pointer finger, my middle finger on my left hand because it's just a lot easier being alrighty. My fingertips hurt so badly. I've already been off track with a couple days. I Today is one of the first days in a while that I've actually been able to be 100% on track with breakfast, lunch, and coming to dinner is obviously, or like coming down to dinner is when um, I'm going to have to do it again. I'm pretty sure that we want to go to Mr. Krabs tonight, but I'm not 100% sure. I think we do. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I had to start with the whole finger pricking thing, which me with needles and blood. And now that I've been doing it, the next time that I that I have to go through this, I'll probably just try and drink the drink anyways, hoping that um, by then maybe my body won't be as rude to me during pregnancies and stuff. But you never know because normally once you start getting hyperemesis, it doesn't really go away. Like any kid you have in the future, it's still gonna come back. So I don't know, but I guess we'll see how that goes. And a couple weeks ago, I'm pretty sure, a couple months ago maybe. I'm pretty sure that at one point I had talked about how I thought my hip was popping out of place. And every time that we would go into Walmart or something like that, I would be standing up for a decent amount of time walking around, and like my hips would just, they would just be in pain. And for the longest time I thought it was my hip popping out. Nope. It was my sciatic nerve. And for the last, like, month, it is so hard to be, when you... When you drink liquids before bed, and you are in your third trimester, you are going to be getting up literally probably every hour to an hour and a half, especially if you can't sleep. You're going to be getting up, and you're going to be going to the bathroom, and when you are getting out of bed and you do not move the correct way, your sciatic nerve is going to hurt you so to- and that's if you get it. Apparently, a lot of pregnant people don't get it, so, you know, 
good for the people that, when they're pregnant, don't have to deal with it. But um, I'm one of those many that do have to deal with it. And it just, it's literally a pain in the ass. Yeah, so uh, it's like a burning sensation through your muscles and it can start in your hips and go down your legs. I fortunately, knock on wood, again in this video, I am, uh, fortunately I have not been dealing with restless leg syndrome like I normally do when I was obviously before being pregnant I dealt with it a lot, I'm not gonna lie, like if I was in the hospital and they pumped me full of sugar water whatever it was and then you know I'd get in the car, drive around with Adrian for a little bit and I'd be sitting there just wanting to move my legs constantly. So. I know what it feels like, I know the pain in the ass it is, it, it has not happened, thank god, well, recently, I, eh, no, I think the last time I had restless leg syndrome was like last year, but, uh, yeah, so my sciatic nerve has been completely acting up, um, it is very hard to get up from a sitting position, it is very hard to be standing for a long amount of time because then I feel like I have to massage my left butt cheek because my left hip is like the main one that gets the shit beat out of it from it right now. And um, I think that's it with all of my health stuff right now, I'm pretty sure. I think I've talked about everything that I need to talk about this week. My main goal was obviously catching up on vlog clips and all that stuff, which thank god we have been able to. But um, so yeah, that's what's been going on, that's what everybody's been dealing with in this house. Um, I have been dealing with massive fatigue again. I am so tired all the time. I have had to get, or I have had to get used to the fact of having breakfast at a specific time, lunch, and dinner at a specific time, so that way I can prick my blood when I need to do it. I'm not sure if this is going to be going for the rest of the pregnancy, but I at least know right now that the next appointment that I have is on the 13th, I think it is, and, um, I guess that's where they're going to be, like, looking at all my what I've written down for my blood level and this, this and that and everything else. There was a few days when like baby girl like wasn't moving around as much and all that stuff and I think a lot of it was to do with the fact that I was in so much pain with my sciatic nerve. I don't know if she feels the pain from that. I don't know if she just can tell that I'm in pain from that. I don't know but it's very very painful and when I have it very badly, which thank god, like last night to this morning and stuff, I've been doing really well. Don't know how, don't know why, but I've been doing really good. So, thanking the heavens right there for that one. But, um, yeah, it's it's a pain in the ass to deal with. So, she's been moving a lot more yesterday and today. Now that I say that out loud and think about it, it seems like when I don't have pain is when she moves a lot, but when I do have pain is when she's like, eh, ain't moving. Um, but honestly, her moving around would probably make the pain a little bit worse just because of the fact that they say that it's normal and it's like your, like, pelvic muscles, like, stretching themselves out to get ready for the fact of, you know, the countdown of the point of having her and all that stuff, which I'm very, very afraid to go through, but honestly, it's going to be worth it. Yeah, I think that's completely it with updates right now. My father's going to be moving out on the 30th. And that's when Ash and I are going to be taking some stuff out of our rooms and bringing them downstairs. Put everything in storage for a little bit. Downstairs used to be what was going to be called the family room, but then obviously my parents got divorced and all that shit and just none of it happened the way that it was supposed to. But, yeah, things have been going well, other than the fact of my left cheek hurting. But, honestly, like, the sicknesses and everything at this point, everything's been worth it all the way up to this point because of the fact of, you know, what's going to be the outcome of it, but, yeah, that's everything that's been going on, you guys are all up to date on everything now, there, like, literally, there's nothing on my camera that I didn't write down right here, besides, as I said, my project, so, but that is it, um, <laughs> like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more of this face, and more of my life, and, you know, getting past the fact of these next few months and labor and all that shit and just everything. And yeah, I guess we'll see what these next few days and next week brings for us. I'm going to do my best right now to try and keep everything on track with the vlog. Um, 
basically, you know, recording almost every single day, just a whole bunch of stuff, and then sitting down and explaining it on a Friday like I normally do when I come out here and I have my laptop and everything else. There was just obviously so much going on that I just kind of needed to get, like, all this stuff off my laptop and be like, you know what, I'm just going to sit down for the weekend and just edit, edit it all through, get it all done. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I don't know if you guys can see the top, oh, maybe not. Oh, kind of. Right there, mostly. Yeah, I, uh, don't know what happened. It was probably from going to the beach, but I cracked my back camera that it was a covering for it. So the actual camera, from what I know of, is not destroyed or anything like that, but, yeah. Everything's caught up to date. Finally, <laughs> the feeling of overwhelmingness from all these clips and videos and everything can finally relax. And I can get on with the fact of recording new fun stuff that's coming up the next few days, few weeks, all that stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave a like if you did. And my back is killing me. Oh no. I will see you in either the next video or the next vlog of the week. I know I've been slacking on videos recently, but that's also because I've been dealing with a lot of physically, mentally draining stuff. But... I'm trying to get myself back there, plus the fact of I need ideas, so people, you know, y'all go right down below what you guys want to see. Nothing too extreme right now, because I need to get through this stuff first, but yeah, either see you guys in my next vlog of the week or my next video.